Hicks Bay, where, where I'm based, is, is quite a poor community. It's over 60% of the population uh, are on a government benefit of some kind. Uh, kia ora, my name is Muki Raro. Um, I'm the KA coordinator uh, for this end of Ngāti Plow, up in, based in Hicks Bay. Uh, uh, my role is basically to to look at um, policy development in our schools, uh, on our marais, uh, generally anywhere where where um, we can impact on on the lives of our people that live back here uh, in terms of, of drugs. Ten years ago, when our our could have first started. Uh, the East Coast area was the second largest cannabis growing area in New Zealand, besides the far north. Um, and when you live in poverty, uh, and when you're when you're struggling to put food on the table every day, then turning to to to, to cannabis, turning to alcohol, those are uh, those. Uh, tend to help, or seem to help, Fano ease the problem. In terms of our school, we are, um, we are one of the top five kura kaupapa Māori in New Zealand uh, in terms of student achievement and in terms of following all the uh, principles of Taho Matua. We are the only school uh, on the East Coast and in Gisborne, down to Wairau, that have a drug testing policy. Uh, if you are caught with uh, cannabis, um, we get your parents are asked for their consent, and then we uh, would take the student to to get a, a, a drug test at our local clinic. Hatai tuatahi, kowai koe no fea koe. Ah, kia ora ko Tanika Taylor Tiori tuku noa. Ah, uh, start tuku papa no kone no fare kaika ko patanga tatu ringa ko. Waku uh, ko ngā pāinga o tēnei kura ko uh, ngā mahi o ngā uaratanga i raro i te te ao matua kia, kia noho pāinga a tamuriki. Uh, ah. Kia ora. Hi aha o whakaaro mō te tarukinu. Uh, kia oku whakaaro he mea kino mō te tangata. Uh, uh, ka... ka um, Ka whakarare rei i a i a koe, a e i mea tino kino. He aha te take i tika mai tō whakamātou mō te taru kino? Nga te mea i te, i te pirangi e ki a tika, um, kore e i moni, a e a i inu i wānga wai, <laughs> kia, a, kia um, tukuna ki waho, nga te taru kino. The drug policy that uh, the Kura have um, is one of many that has um, a broad range and impact on our Tamariki's future in, in the most positive ways that I can see. A whole support system is put around them. They have um, they're set up with counselling, the social workers, uh, and any other things that that can support the whānau. 
I suppose I was disgusted really that um, how could my child be considered to be um, um, taking part in uh, marijuana and um, when I thought about it a bit more I uh, realised that um, hey uh, what if he is smoking um, um, it wasn't uh, sort of a thing of how I'd feel personally embarrassed but I'd, uh, it, it definitely made me think as uh, as a parent on my responsibility to uh, one of my babies so um, even though initially I was against the, the drug testing um, I just seen it as a um, something that it just attaches itself like a trailer to you know one of the core principles of our kura which is Tawa Matua. We don't believe in, in standing, standing uh, our kids down as they do in other schools, uh, they're still able to come to school and to learn, uh, but we know that they have support in place for them. They have that opportunity to redeem themselves, um, to get the support uh, from services, from agencies, the whānau. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a holistic approach and um, everyone's involved. Six weeks later, we have the third test, and if they fail that, then it shows us that they um, are not prepared to help themselves change. And uh, generally, if they fail the third test, they will be asked to find another school. <laughs> we do believe that the child is the centre of our universe and that we as a whole whānau, not just as staff, not just as uh, family members, not just as, as a, a, a board, but the whole whānau needs to get involved to help uh, make changes. Something is something wrong.